up? This is Ellen. Welcome back to my channel and happy Foundation Friday. Today we are going to be doing a foundation roundup for mature skin so far through 2021. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video so somebody think might like it, and let's do it. So today we're going to do something that I don't usually do, which is favorites and fails. So we're going to start off and we're going to do kind of like one and then the other and then one and then the other. So, so far in 2021, for me personally, I have really loved quite a few foundations. Um, I have done a lot of videos on foundation tricks, um, but I've also obviously reviewed quite a few foundations this year, and we still have a couple more months to go to add to this list for our big ultimate favorites of 2021 that I do at the end of each year. Um, all right, so let's start with one, and these are in no particular order. They're just as I have them sitting right here in front of me. Um, so the most recent one that we've done is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk uh, Foundation. And again, all of these foundations that you see right here, I have Foundation Fridays on. So if you go on my channel, at the very top it says Playlists. You click on that, and then you'll see one called Foundation Friday. And you can see each individual breakdown of each individual foundation because I talk more in depth about how to use these foundations no matter what your skin type is, okay? Great. And application methods on that worked for me. So I am more normal to drier skin type. I loved this foundation. It is more of that throw on, go about your town, go about the city type of foundation. It is for the effortless girl, the girl that doesn't want a ton of coverage. It is definitely that kind of foundation, but it is very easy. It is not super long wearing, but I found this foundation to be very flattering. The price point obviously is amazing and an overall great drugstore foundation that is really great for all ages but especially somebody that wants a little more kind of, um, you know, skin-like foundation. And it is a tint, so this is not going to give you a ton of coverage. So if you, it's just, again, it's just a nice gentle tint that's going to blur some imperfections. To me, one of the standouts this year is this foundation from YS, no, YLS, I always say that. This is the Triple Foundation Serum Foundation. Um, I wear this fairly often. <laughs> You've seen me wear it a lot. Um, this is going to be your more medium to fuller coverage. It is so, so gorgeous on the skin. I am in color L96. I love this. This is something that I will absolutely repurchase. This is very like a second skin. Um, you, could don't, you can just set it very, very lightly. I set all of these foundations, if I set them, with my Kosas Cloud Powder. Um, I, I don't use any other powders at this time. So I love this foundation. It looks just like skin. Their, their range of colors is absolutely stunning, so inclusive, um, and I just think the packaging is stunning and beautiful. They have done an amazing, amazing job. So if you're sleeping on this one and want a little bit more of a luxury foundation, you want that luxury feel, you want a little bit more of a um, buildable medium high coverage, glowy, lovely, luscious foundation, that's the one to go to. Okay, let's talk about this. These are the, so these are two fails. I'll do them back to back since we did two good or two uh, favorites. So this new one by Lawless, I absolutely love the brand. Okay, so Lawless is one of my favorite brands. I love their blushes, their eyeshadows, their lipsticks, their lip plumper. I'm a big fan of the brand. But this foundation, for me personally, I'm not the skin type for it. It is a really cool foundation. Can you hear it? It reminds me a lot of the Hello Foundation from Benefit that I used to love, but not as hydrating. So this is going to be more for your combination to oilier skin types. Um, you can wear it with an illuminizing primer underneath it. It is a super long wearing foundation, a second skin foundation, but for me it was a fail. I have normal to dry skin and it just really dried out this center of the, my face and I just am bummed because, again, like I like the brand, but... Uh, didn't really work for me. So yeah, that's that one. Okay, now this one is so interesting because a lot of you guys told me to try this and I've actually been wanting to try it um, many eons ago. I worked as one of the senior uh, artists at Sephora in Northern California and I've always wanted to try this. This is the Milk Makeup, this is the Sun uh, Sunshine Skin Tint. I don't know. 
it was a fail for me. I tried to get it to work. It's so messy. It comes off on everything. I tried it so many times after that Foundation Friday. I think it's for like a teenager. I'm just not the demographic for it. I think it's literally for like a teenager or a young 20s, somebody that doesn't really need anything. They just want to like pop this, you know, beautiful luscious skin oil on that has a little bit of coverage and go about their amazing life, that type of a thing. So for me, that was unfortunately a fail. Um, and I was, the color for me in that one, I'm sorry if these work for you guys, but it just didn't work for me. I'm medium. Okay. So for some of my favorites, Merit, you've heard me talk about it. It is a stick foundation. Again, go look at my Foundation Fridays. I will link the playlist in the description box below. Um, but this is one, I actually have it on right now as my concealer. I love this foundation. It takes some time to play with it to get it to work for your skin because it is a stick foundation. So it is going to err on the more of the side of just like a a general basic skin finish. It's not glowy, it's not matte, it's not anything. It's just a stick foundation that is just skin. I apply it all over my face. I use my fingers to blend it all the way in and then I push it in with like a very damp beauty blender or just a dry beauty blender. Um, I love this because if you don't wanna use a separate concealer and you don't like that kind of under eye highlight that a lot of people don't like, you can use this all over your face. Now, of course, I use this with a hydrating skin routine. I also have been known to use this with an illuminizing primer sometimes. So play with it, but not always. But this, well done, hit it out of the park. I use this more than I thought I would. This, now if you are sleeping on this, if you are my full coverage girl, um, if you want skin-like, full coverage, um, pigment, like, covering that's what this brand is known for it's the derma flash cc so their cc on here stands for continuous coverage it's not like a tinted moisturizer it is a continuous coverage which basically means that it is a super long wearing foundation i mean i think i probably could have worn that foundation for i don't know 18 20 hours um i am in color 30n i'm in color 30n so for me personally, it, it just a little bit goes a long way. It is really one of those that's universal for all skin types because it does kind of mimic the skincare you have underneath it. The way that I work with it, obviously you can go watch the Foundation Friday, is I do wear an illuminizing primer underneath it. So it gives it a little bit of shift because this is going to have a tendency to be a little bit more on the matte side. It's not really matte, but a little bit more on that matte side. If you want one, and I don't powder this. Um, except for I think I powdered it right here where I put a little bit more coverage with my Kosas Cloud Powder. You guys, if you're sleeping on this and you want a full coverage, it's a reasonable price and you're a full coverage girl and you don't want to fuss with your foundation and you want your hyperpigmentation to be covered and you still want it to look like skin, you need to try this foundation. It's amazing. Okay. So one for the, another one for me that kind of, I was kind of shocked because it's, People are talking about it all over the place, and I don't know how you say it. It's, is it Sae, S-A-I-E, Sae? Um, and I know it's a woman-run company, and I know it's a small business, and this is called the Slip Cover. I really, really did not enjoy this foundation. Um, I'm number three. It's separated on me. It barely lasted, um, and it barely covered anything. I mean, like, anything. It was like this similar coverage to this. And for me personally, at my age of 42, I need some coverage. You know, I need something. <laughs> so for me, if you're looking at this, because they do a lot of social media marketing and it's very beautiful. For me personally, again, this is my own opinion. This is one to skip. Um, and then let's do this one. Let's end, you know what, let's end on a good note. So let's do a few more uh, fails. So this is by Vapor Beauty. Again, you guys asked me to try this foundation. It looked really good upon first application. And then as I wore it throughout the day, I really, really did not like it. This is called the Soft Focus Foundation. I'm in one, two, three, five. I think. Unfortunately, this is a no-go. It dried out the whole day. It didn't look great on the skin. Um, it just was kind of a weird feeling on the skin. So it's not one that I'll be reaching for again. All right, this, you guys. Urban Decay's um, Stay Naked Hydromanic Tinted Glow Hydrator. Whoosh, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. 
Um, it puts their two and one to shame. It's so good. I'm 30 light. That's the color that I am. Um, it is a beautiful bridge between a tinted moisturizer and like a medium coverage foundation. It has a gorgeous, gorgeous glow to the skin. And if you don't want to set it, that glow will just remain all day. And it is a really long wearing foundation, not like super, super long, but it is a really nice foundation like wearing. Um, it makes the skin look like butter. It makes the skin f feel very light. It is one of my highlights of this year as well. I will, I reach for this a lot, this a lot, this a lot, besides the ones I already use. Um, so these are the ones that I love. This is, what does my notes say? Cause I have wrote notes on all of this. Um, it is like a tinted moisturizer, but it it's like a high, it's like a medium, ver it's a medium coverage tinted moisturizer. I know it's weird. Okay. If you guys are sleeping on this too, the Sephora sale is coming up. I think it starts today. Go get the foundations and then return them if you hate them. Okay. But get, 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 get them. They're so good. Okay. Um, this one is on both sides. So this is a fail for me. This is the Fenty Beauty. You've seen it in, this is called the Ease Drops. I'm number nine. Um, you've seen me use this in the description box when I talk about what my face breakdown is in each video. Um, it, today I have merit on, just so you guys know. And, um, this I've tried to make work. I've tried to make work. Now, listen, it is a beautiful foundation. It really is. I guess for me personally, I'm just not into these foundations that make that, that have no coverage. I'm just, I, I don't know what it is. Um, but it has hardly any coverage. It would be beautiful as a primer and then a lighter, like a, like a lightweight uh, foundation over it. That would be beautiful. Um, so if you have that, that's a great way to use it. Or what you can do is you can use this and add a little bit of concealer to it, the same color, and then have a really bit more coverage to it. So that's why it's on both. For me, it didn't work because it didn't have hardly any coverage, but also too, it did look great on the skin. There is a way to use it. So let me know what you think about this if you got it. All right, so then we're gonna end on this. You guys, again, this is, uh, I, you know, I listen to you guys so, so much. <laughs> um, uh, and I wanna thank you guys so much. We're almost at 200,000, so please keep sharing these videos. I would love to get to 200,000 at the end of the year um, or more, but keep sharing these videos. Keep telling people you know to subscribe and join our squad family. Um, but we're gonna end with Thrive, all right? You guys told me this is the buildable blur. This is beautiful. I always forget I have this, and then every time I use it, I'm like, why don't I use this more often? It's so beautiful. They remind me a lot of each other, these two, the Urban Decay and then the Thrive. Um, I'm in light, uh, I'm in just light in this one by Thrive. I feel like Thrive has a little more coverage to it and a little more stability to it than the um, Urban, but not by much. So they're very, very similar. Um, do you guys use any of these foundations? <laughs> I just literally keep forgetting and I need to just put this upstairs. That's what I'm gonna do, because it's so pretty. Um, yes, so that is my foundation wrap up so far for 2021. Let me know what you guys are using out of this bunch. Let me know what you guys are using that's not in this bunch. Obviously, I'm only cruelty free, so um, that's a bummer because a lot of great companies came out with uh, some cool product this year. So anyway, keep sharing my videos, and thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.